Atletico Madrid, uh, as we look at the match stats from their Champions League account at Liverpool, similarly no shots on goal in the 1-0 loss. Uh, and said lots of Liverpool players and, of course, Jurgen Klopp being very critical of Atleti's tactics uh, on Tuesday night. Uh, and it doesn't seem to have gone down too well uh, with Atleti. Yeah, I mean, there's a couple of uh, places to pick this up. The first one, of course, is to start with Liverpool's response, or the response of some Liverpool players and, and a little bit Jurgen Klopp as well, although he did it, as he often does, with a kind of a smile on his face and, and partly joking, but the, the words kind of hidden beneath the jest, if you like. Um, I was quite surprised that Liverpool were, were so frustrated by this. Obviously, the frustration comes from the defeat, but also this is an Atletico Madrid side who everyone in Europe knows that's very, very successful doing this and has been for a long time. And this season was going through an identity crisis, which, which in part prevented them from doing some of these things and I think what we saw on Tuesday night was them getting back to what they know. Then in terms of the next stage which as you say is the, the, the sense in Spain that hang on why are they getting so upset I think that is just an element of, of thinking well this just sounds like people being sore losers to us and this sounds like them being upset about us beating them and it will not absolutely will not push Atletico Madrid, of course. I think, if anything, this victory has reinforced Simeone's status, has reinforced the belief in that this is the way to approach it. But, by the way, they know, of course they know, that Anfield will be different. Mm. Stevie, I know you were on on Tuesday uh, right after the game. Of course, these comments hadn't quite come out at that yeah. point. Do you have any problem either with Atleti's tactics in the game or the comments in response to it? I am to absolutely shocked the Liverpool players and staff manager are stupid enough to take the bait and come out and criticise really? a team that's just... Yeah. I'd say, what is the worst thing you can do? They're already behind in the tie. What, what would be the only thing that was, that's worse than being behind? Mm. Riling them up, giving them something else to, to, to get them fired up about. Mm. It's completely opposite of what you should do. Mm. You take, you take your, your punishment, mm. you keep your trap shut, you wait till you get home, and then when you're in the dressing room before the game, you get a little reminder of what they did mm. during the first leg. That's how you go about it. Mm. You don't go spouting your mouth out and, 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 and crying like a big baby because of the way they went about it. That's just it's completely and utterly wrong. Mm. To your point, Stevie, what you have done if you're Liverpool and you're club and you're the players, you have empowered Atletico Madrid. You have now given them a plan. This, mm. is, this is what you need to do in order to annoy us, in order to make it uncomfortable for us, in order to see this through at Anfield. You have given us a pathway. You have given Atletico Madrid and saying, all these things, mm. they get us off our game. And if that's the case, then Atletico Madrid, you're sitting at home saying, okay, mm. well, if we didn't believe before, we believe now, mm. and here we go. We have ourselves a chance, we have ourselves an opportunity. Sid, do they believe in Madrid? Bearing in mind this time last year, of course, they took a 2-0 lead to Turin and couldn't defend it against Juventus. Well, that's, that's part of the reason why they believe, because uh, I think there's a sense that they, they learnt a lesson there, that that kind of thing can't happen again. And as you say, they, they played very, very well last year against Juventus at, at the Wanda Metropolitano. Much better, I think, creatively at least, in terms of how much threat they carried than they did against Liverpool. But against Liverpool, it was resilient, it was, it was tough, it was defensive. So I, I don't think that, that that goes against them. In fact, I think that helps them. I think they know that this will be hard. No one is, is assuming they go through by any means. They all look at Liverpool and still think, yeah, this is a really, really good side. But they're in a much better position than they could have hoped for. Because bear in mind, while Atletico Madrid would never have said this publicly, they would have been delighted with a nil-nil draw in the first game. Anything that kept the clean sheet and put them in that position where the balance of the away goals, if that was going to tip the tie, was going to be in their hands, not in Liverpool's. And now, of course, it's even better than that. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.